Greetings, programs. It is March 2023. What does that mean? It is time for Hashtag Marchintosh, where we feature videos with Apple Macintosh computers. In my video, I'm going to be showing you a Macintosh LC3 that was recently gifted to me by a viewer and friend of the channel. Sit back and relax, and let's jump right into it. This Macintosh LC3 was gifted to me by friend and viewer of the channel, Garth Beagle. He also sent me a couple of his channel stickers. Here is one of them, his creepy crazy monkey, and also this bird, 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 bird is the word. So thank you again, Garth, for this awesome donation to the channel, this Macintosh LC3. So what can I tell you about the Macintosh LC3? Well, it is a personal computer designed, manufactured, and sold by Apple Computer from February 1993 until February of 1994. The official release date was on February 10th, 1993, and it was discontinued on February 14th, 1994. And thinking about that, that's actually Valentine's Day. What's up, Apple? That's pretty sad to break people's hearts on Valentine's Day and discontinue the Macintosh LC3. But I digress. What I'm going to do in this video is show you the computer. I'm going to pop the top, see what's going on on the inside, show the back, and then I'm going to hook it up and see what Gartha uh, put on the hard drive for me. Also, just thought that I should let you know what the specs are for those that don't know what the specifications are for the Mac. LC3. It has got a 68030 CPU running at 25 megahertz. It originally came with an 80 megabyte SCSI hard drive, a 1.44 megabyte floppy drive, that is right here. Uh, operating system would be uh, 7.1 all the way up to Mac OS 7.6.1. If I remember right, I think that is the Sorbet operating system for the uh, Macintosh. Stock, it would have come with 4 megabyte of RAM, expandable to a max of 36 megabyte RAM. It's got a 72 pin SIM socket. Standard video memory is 512 KB, and it can be upgraded to a max of 786 KB. Uh, and talking with Garth, um, this machine has been expanded to the full 36 megabyte, and he did load some software onto the hard drive. Um, but I haven't looked inside the machine yet, so we're going to go ahead and crack that open real quick and just see what's going on and progress through the video. Before I pop the top, I wanted to point out the ports on the back of the machine. I will be going from the left to the right. The first is the power switch. Then we have the IEC power connector. That's where you put your standard power cord. Next, we have the video port then the printer port, the communication port, and I believe that is a serial port. Next is the SCSI port. Then we've got the ADB port. That's where I plug in the keyboard, mouse, etc. Next is the external speaker out. And then we've got a microphone in. And then this little port cover right here, that is covering up the internal PDS slot where you can put in add-on cards, uh, network, and other things. So with that, I'm now going to open up the machine and we're gonna take a look inside. Decided to go in a handheld mode, got the top off of the LC3, and to my surprise, Garth installed a blue SCSI. Check that out. There's a blue SCSI installed right there. Link in the description to where you can get a blue SCSI drive for your Mac computer. It's basically an SD card solution. So no more spinning rust, which is great. Um, let's see, here is you know the floppy drive. Got a fan. And we got, there's the, uh, the memory. And over here, this is where you can add in a, I guess, I think that's for the video RAM, to upgrade the video RAM. But yeah, let's just do a quick little 
pan over the top here and show you the inside. Everything looks good, and it actually looks like he recapped it, too. So that is pretty cool. That's one less thing that I need to do. I will not need to recap this machine. And let's see what else. Oh, yeah. Uh, PRAM battery has been removed. I will be adding one because I do like having working clocks with my computers and software. For those that watch my channel know that working clocks and software and computers is kind of important. If you can have a real-time clock, why the heck not? All right. Well, next up, I'm going to hook up a monitor. And I'm actually going to hook up my LCD monitor I've got right there. You're probably wondering how I'm going to hook up a modern LCD to a Mac. Well, I am going to show you that in just a moment. So how I hook up a vintage Mac computers to a modern LCD, I have this cool little adapter here. You can find these online. It's got some dip switches. And then on the other side, it shows you the different settings that you would want to use for the various computers. You could probably use these for other computers too. I use it for the Mac. And again, this is the front of it. So you can look on eBay or whatever. And once again, there is the back. And next I'm gonna have it all hooked up and we're gonna fire up this machine. Before I do the first power on with my Macintosh LC3, I wanted to show my keyboard and Apple desktop mouse that I have hooked up. This keyboard that I'm using is an Apple II GS keyboard and mouse. It is not the match to the LC3, but it will work. And I love this keyboard because it's mechanical. It's got out switches. It's just awesome. Love out switches and this keyboard is great. So next, I promise the next clip, I'm gonna have this powered on and we're gonna see what's on the blue SCSI hard drive. All right, we're going for the first power on. I'm reaching around, powering up the machine. And while it's powering up, I will let you know I had reached out to Garth and found out with this machine, he did in fact recap the motherboard. He recapped the power supply and he serviced the floppy drive. So literally I don't have to do anything to this machine. It is ready to rock and roll. So again, thank you so much Garth for uh, getting this thing just dialed in. Uh, I just remembered I did not put a PRAM battery in this, so, uh, oh, well, look at that. There it is, Mac OS Sorbet. Look at that nice green Sorbet color. Love it. It's booting up pretty quick. So we're going to let this boot up here, and we're going to explore it a little bit for my Marchintosh 2023 video. Speaking of Marchintosh, there is some other great Macintosh content uh, happening right now. Down in my description, I've got a link to the hashtag Marchintosh videos on YouTube. So be sure to check that out because there is a lot of other great Mac content. So I've got the mouse is moving. Let's uh, click on about this computer. See there, we got the 36 megabytes of memory, um, Apple software 7.6.1. Pretty cool. Uh, let's see, we got uh, Legacy Recovery. Okay, apps and games with a Rubik's Cube. That is pretty cool. Um, what else? Let's see, what's Jared? What is this? Looks like a crazy Pac-Man. Uh, let's open it up and see what happens. What is it? Okay, things are happening. What's happening? I don't know. Some music. If you can hear that. <laughs> what the heck is this? Apparently, Pac Man is named Jared and he's singing. If you know about this Jared thing, please let me know down in the comments. I, I'm a Commodore 64 Apple II guy from back in the day. I know nothing about this Jared thing. But what I do know is. We are going to quit out of that. Bye-bye. Jared is gone. Next, we're going to check out the apps and games with a Rubik's Cube. And I'm going to make a quick adjustment here, and we'll be right back. Well, I walked away for a few minutes to grab a snack and have something to drink. And I come back to Flying Toasters. What a nostalgia flashback. 
Who remembers the flying toasters? Man, this was a big deal back in the day, this screensaver, where you've got toasters and pieces of toast flying around. So, man, Garth, you really got this thing set up pretty cool for me, and I appreciate it a lot. I almost want to just let this run, but I'm going to move the mouse, say goodbye to the toasters, and here we are back in the fun and games. And what should I check out? You know, I'm probably not going to play any games. People know what gameplay is like, but I got Doom 1, Doom 2, uh, Liza, Gold Digger, Hangman, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That's awesome. Holiday Lemmings. You know what? No, we won't bring that up. It's March. It's March and Tosh. No Christmas stuff. We got Joust. Oh, there's the regular Lemmings. I'm a fan of Lemmings. So yeah, wow, look at all that. Oh no, more Lemmings. Oregon Trail. You know what? Let's let's go ahead and bring up the Oregon Trail to see what version this is on the Mac. License to Jake. I wonder if that's Jake from State Farm. <laughs> Jake from State Farm, thanks for the Oregon Trail. So we've got the Oregon Trail. That actually looks pretty good. Is there a way to full screen this? I don't know. Nope, that won't do it. It's back. I'm a Mac noob. I do have Mac content on my channel, but honestly, I am a Mac newbie when it comes to using the software. So yeah, if there is a way to make this full screen, that would be good to know. Uh, let's see, travel the trail. Welcome to the Oregon Trail. You can read that if you want. Pause if you need to. I'm just going to continue on. Enter your name. My name is Sean. And we are going to go with Blacksmith. Yeah, that works. And other people who are in your wagon, we got Jed, Beth, Joey, and Emily. I guess you can change those names, but for now, we're going to leave them the same. And yeah, Oregon Trail. Two hours later. It's been a couple of hours playing the Oregon Trail, and you guessed it, I died of dysentery. So, because I've died of dysentery, I guess it's time to wrap up this video. So with that in mind, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. These are the folks that support me on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash geek with social skills. Thank you for your support. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you, the viewers, for watching. Please be sure to check out my Friends of the Channel links in my description. Also the links to Marchintosh, Blue Scuzzy, etc. Thanks again for watching, be safe, stay healthy, and we will see you in the next video.